Hi, my name is Dr. Ron Rufo. I'm a retired Chicago police officer for over 22 years, and I've written a book on police suicide, and the name of it is Police Suicide is Police Culture Killing Our Officers. And I think it's a subject that not too many people like to talk about, or especially police officers as well. They, uh, it's something that it's in the back of their mind, but again, no one discusses it or really likes to present it to anyone. Well, I feel that it's important that everyone realizes what police officers go through on a daily basis, uh, the trauma that they experience, and they keep their emotions and the tragedy that they see pent up inside, and rarely do they share this with anyone, and it just keeps building up and keeps building up where after 15, 20 years on the job, even less than that, it, it just takes its toll on the officers, not only physically, but emotionally. Emotional wellness is just as important as tactics that would be uh, used in training, like at the academy. Uh, emotional wellness is just as important. On the average, for the past, I would say 20, 30 years at least, with my research, that it averages about six, five to six uh, officers a year. Not many people know this. It's not shared very often or not very uh, uh, talked about, uh, especially through the ranks of the police department, uh, the administration, management. Um, it's kind of like having the elephant in the room. No one likes to uh, admit it's there, but it's, it's there. And it's prevalent, uh, not only through Chicago Police Department, but through other police departments throughout the country. And it's just it's a national epi epidemic without anyone bringing it to light or bringing it into the into the headlines.